Hello everyone. My name is Sachiketa and welcome back to another video. This is going to be a really short video. I just want to bring to your attention an amazing library by the name of Pi Forest. And what this does is it allows you to save a lot of time which you would normally spend on importing all the Python libraries in any data science project. So there are a lot of libraries in common which you always use like Pandas, NumPy, SQLearn, Keras, TensorFlow, NLTK. And all of those libraries are going to be automatically imported for you just by using this one library. Let me just show you the code, how you have to execute it. So first thing you do, you have to install the library of uh, PyForest using the pip install command. After that, you simply have to call import PyForest and that's it. Rest all of the libraries that you're going to be using for data science are automatically going to be imported. So for example, here I'm directly writing np.array and I'm creating an array of few numbers. And notice I have never imported a NumPy, but still it works. Another example, I've created a pandas data frame over here using pd.dataframe and I've created a two dimensional list basically. And again, it automatically works without having to import anything. Now the good thing about PyForest is that it has a list of libraries inside of it and it will only import that onto your workspace whenever you call that particular library. So you can check what all libraries have been imported onto your workspace using the function active underscore imports. So when I print this, I can see it has only imported NumPy as NP and Pandas as PD. So when and where you use a library, only then it is going to import that library onto your workspace. So it also has the Seaborn SNS library, which I'm creating over here. Again, I didn't have to import anything. And similarly, you also have TensorFlow and Keras uh, uh, automatically imported for you. Now, if now if you want to check what are libraries are going to be imported for you, you simply have to write dir pyforest and you can see a list of all the libraries that comes along with it. You can see the most popular libraries uh, like Keras, TensorFlow, NLTK, OS, NumPy, Pickle, Matplotlib, .plot. Most of the libraries are going to be present over here, which you're normally going to be using. So this can save you a lot of time for your data science projects and if you can go to the original documentation as well and if there's a library that is not present you can even add a library uh, to their imports and they have given instructions how to do that as well but a lot of the libraries are already there and it's a pretty handy tool and it can save you a good amount of time in your data science projects. So that was all for this video. I just wanted to bring this to your attention. And if you did like it, do subscribe to this channel and let me know what you want to see in my future videos and see you in the next video.